had up there for that. And he buzzed about some unacceptable segments of it or something, too. But it, it hit Packwood hard because it was a fast, fast change on a, on a they were going hard and how it changed by how was it announced? By uh, our, well, I don't think we announced it. I think we simply sent word out there that we weren't going to back it anymore. And then Packwood got mad and went out and said the White House pulled off of it. There's some detail on it in there. And, and you're just reading the highlight page that it was somewhere on what happened in there. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it. I don't think there is. It's just one of those things that you get one guy mad, understandably, but you are accomplish a lot of other things. And as they point out there, if Paco hadn't gotten that and run out and said it, ironically, we could have hung it the other way on the Democrats. Packwood is the guy who goofed, but he goofed. In his own mind, he goofed because he was double crossed that night. I mean, that's what you what you read into this. Had he just kept quiet, which was what the plan was, they would have blamed it on the Democrats saying he couldn't get the thing through and that they had put some unacceptable stuff in. And we could have said the Democrats have ruled the crippling strike legislation, but Packwood went out and said the White House pulled out. Of course, the media was provided to report in full detail. Well, apparently, it wasn't handled properly on our side. I'm not so sure that it wasn't handled. It wasn't handled properly by Packwood. No, but I think mean, he should have been informed. Well, he wasn't. No, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, by the city of Silver. Oh, I mean, probably he could get through. Yeah, but he knew better than that. I mean, you can't. He felt, well, he knew that.
question was raised. I know this pack will be sort of jumping up and down because of the Kremlin strike and you're spending basically a couple of shows to call up. I mean, I've been somewhat of a such a matter that the situation is that there isn't a prayer for the Kremlin strike legislation to get through the Congress. That means the House, particularly the Senate, he says he might have an outside doubt in this session, unless we have a perfect strike. And there ain't going to be any the rest of this year. And what we were, what our strategy is, is to try to work out a piece of legislation that we can get through, uh, and uh, show some hardship and so forth, and then talk to the labor leaders uh, with regard to trying to find a different form to deal with the so-called perfect strike. We're not, we're not flushing the out that they legislation is like that one provision with regard to the arbitration. We found so we've had it up there for two years and the Congress is not acting. And uh, back to the first things he took back. But I I think the impression that, uh, that this was the cost of our getting me not to endorse uh, the teams was to endorse is not true. Not true. We had, in fact they had worked this out long before against the Hodgson and, uh, and the Shells had recommended to me that we can't get this through us. And I said, well my current mind so much more if you have a hell of a strike, they'll do it. I just didn't want you to get caught on the base of the thing. But in Oregon, you can say that I think you can say Senator Packwood has done a fine job in this field. Uh, and uh, we are, uh, our problem is uh, not just getting it through the Senate, but the House. And with the House members all coming over, and with the great support that Labor has in the House, there ain't no way that it has any labor legislation. You see, here's the point. You can't get it out of the House Labor Committee. It's been in the House Labor Committee for two years. And the House Labor Committee is totally dominated by the leftovers, by the labor guys. And you just, you just say we can't get it out of the House Labor Committee. And so we were simply talking to hear this. We, we want action, not the issue. And there's all the facts that uh, highly uh, controversial and difficult legislation that uh, you cannot fight on three or four major fronts at a time. And we are just working on, uh, like crazy, on uh, revenue sharing and welfare reform, uh, two of the priorities yeah. have been there long distance. Uh, we came to divert our effort. We, we yeah. have to look at it pragmatically so I can get done. But I'm saying that we, are, that we have we have put up legislation. We are still for legislation. The problem is that this particular provision is one that we can't even get out of the House to make. So we're consulting with everybody concerned to see if we can find something that will be effective, that will they will support rather than oppose. So that's really what it is. But I, I just saw the pack of it, so I'm saying he's done a fine job and just a misunderstanding with regard to the thing. And it just, that it, that he may be right about the sun. One other thing, which I, I said to the other point, you do something that I can. I'd like for you to up there at the house, up there at the Congress, I start heck again on a, on a regular basis. Members of the Senate, the members of the House, two members of the House. I think we should do that. We should hold sort of a, and I just talk to politicals, I talk about their problems, their districts, their states, and so forth and so on and so on. Uh, because as the political year gets on, they'll want to talk to somebody. I can't do it. Uh, I've, got to, I've got to stay here and so forth. And uh, you can be up there so, uh, to hear their beefs and so forth. I wouldn't limit it to the, just to, to uh, our friends. Uh, you can't do a hell of a lot of so-called Wednesday group, but I see some of them. I mean, after all, they, you know, they're going to pipe down on that it's done. But I think it would be extremely valuable. Extremely valuable for you to uh, you know, have a pocket of them and, uh, and just chat to you. like to talk about politics, say, what are the issues? What should we be on the side? What should we be talking about? Incidentally, so among the issues, of course, that we want to ream hard, and even to say, is busting. God damn.